All right, Akim. Shalom. This is the continuation. Uh, the phone went off abruptly. Okay, we're going to continue this lesson. Spiritual power is liberty. All right, that we have in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. If you're a newcomer, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. All right, they're true and proper names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, our language as it is written. Those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, rescued, all right, given the victory over this world, even our faith, which is a gift from on high. And is one of the beginning stages of that liberty that we will have in Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. Thus becoming, okay, more than servants, but friends, we are all unprofitable servants doing that which is our duty to do. And in the Lord, we have become his free men. If you would have that rather than to be called a servant or a slave, but we are servants and slaves unto righteousness. And in the sense of that, we are free, truly free. All right, because the Lord have made us free. The son indeed have made us free. All right, we are the Lord's free men, and he will soon come and free us from these chains of darkness, these bodies, and give us a heart of flesh and put into us his law that is heavenly. All right, that can establish a nation and a government and a kingdom that shall last forever. All right, and will grace us with the new bodies that even his only begotten son has. All right, that cannot die that does not age, that is indestructible, that is like that of the heavenly, but yet still has the characteristics of the terrestrial, to procreate, to eat, to drink, to be merry, and ultimately to keep the law. And by keeping the law, we are kept from sin, and from sin cometh death, for that is the wages of sin. For without sin, what do we become? Immortal, immortal. All right, eternal, that's what I wanted to say, eternal and immortal. All right, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, I say greetings. Okay, double honors unto my apostles and elders at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect that house of David, by whom we do these videos for, because through that remnant, that elect, that, okay, that, that small amount will bring forth all that are in the spirit realm, that have died, and even the two-thirds that will be judged, but will be brought back through the loins of this righteous elect, so that the Lord may keep his promise, in which he gave unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But it begins with the faithful, even the household of faith, even that house of David, even the hopeful. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 17. 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell. And hate thou abomination vehemently. All right, that's the liberty we have. Give us liberty or give me death. Right? We're going to choose the liberty of the Lord, even if it means us dying to this world. So be it. Because hey, that liberty that we have in Yahweh Bashim al Shad is, is greater than anything we can even acts or think because the Lord already knows what we need, what we desire, what our spirits cry for and call for that we can't even utter. But the Lord knows who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live, that's that liberty, and give thanks, also that liberty. Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead as from one that is not, the living and sound in heart and mind shall praise the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al Shai. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord, our power, and his compassion unto such as turn unto him in holiness. You see, 
The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah meaning He. Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He, the existing one, for He is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks Him. And in the name of His only begotten Son, who has a name that is above every name given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite men first and also to the believer consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and those that have faith. They would be calling upon that name, even that mighty name, the name Yahawashai. Yah meaning he, Yahawashai, meaning deliverer and savior. For that is exactly what he will come and do for the second time in physical form, yet as an angelic force, for we shall see him as he is and we shall be like him. So as I said, this is going to be a continuation of the previous lesson. Spiritual power is liberty. The continuation. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 119 and verse 45. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. Going into rules. The word precepts also means rules, commandments, right? It says, I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings. And will not be ashamed. First and foremost, we're speaking before uh, the kings being Israel. All right. A nation of kings and priests. We're speaking unto them of the rules and the commands of the Lord. That we have been able to walk freely. And they have been given liberty through what Yahweh Shai did for us. Okay. And then we also speak to the kings of this world to know that, hey, we are already uh, unstoppable, immortal, all right, in honor, going from glory to glory and from faith to faith, all right? Well, why should we fear what man shall do unto us, as David said, all right? Well, what, what can man do unto me? A man that says such a thing as that is a man that has seen things uh, uh, that are beyond man's understanding, that he has went beyond man. That he has went before the throne of the Heavenly Father through Hamashiach, you see? All right, that's why the disciples uh, took the deaths, so to speak, in physical form as they took. Because what the Lord showed them could not be unseen. And that is what we have seen. Call all yim la Yahweh by Shem Shai. It says, I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. And let's go into the word liberty. In the Hebrew. All right, I'm not going to make this too long. This is just a little taste of what is to come, right? Because there's a, a lot of scriptures going into liberty, especially in the uh, New Testament. And we're going to go into the Greek as well in time. But first, I want to hit the Hebrew and we'll go into the Greek. All right, and uh, apologies for uh, this recorder, you know, stopping abruptly. It does that every once in a while. Now, this is the. Uh, Word for liberty, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go uh, at liberty. And the word there is uh, H7342, Rahab. Okay, which is 7342 Rahab. Okay, which is Rahab. Yeah, Rahab. Yep. And it says broad, wide. Okay. We're going into the broad. How can uh, one uh, uh, go into a, a broad field wherein dwelleth all good things? Let's get that. Is that in Second Interest 7? I believe it's so. Let's go there. But we have to go through the danger in order to inherit the broad, as the scriptures state. And it reads, and I'll start at verse 4. But put to case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? See, that's where we get the broad, wide, which just goes into the liberty. There is also another thing. A city is builded, which represents the kingdom of heaven, and set upon a broad field, the kingdom of heaven, and is full of all good things, the kingdom of heaven. The entrance thereof is narrow. And as uh, Yahweh Shai stated, um, only few men ever find that narrow path that lead it to life everlasting. Okay. It says, like as if there were 
Well, let me let me read verse seven again. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water and only and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water. So small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city, which is the kingdom of heaven, now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. See, we have to go through it. But the Lord has set us at liberty to enter into these things. All right. Now we're going to get another uh, uh, scripture with liberty in it. And let's see if it is the same word indeed. And I'm going to play this clip. If I have the time and I'm going to close this thing out. Um, all right. I'm going to go to Jeremiah 34 and 15. And ye were now turned and had done right in my sight in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor. And ye had made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name. Now let's go into the word liberty and see if it is the same. And if it is not, then, well, we're on to something. Let's see here, we're going to go to the word liberty. It is actually a different word, all right, uh, than from uh, the one in Psalm. Now the word there is H1865, and the word there is Darawar. Darawar. Da. Ra war. Okay? And that word there is a flowing. See? Out of our bellies, our minds is, is a river flowing with water because we believe in the scriptures as it states, how it describes our Lord, how it describes what pleases him and what displeases him, what describes the kingdom of heaven, what describes immortality, uh, uh, resurrection, power beyond belief. But it begins with the keys and also the doorway into the liberty which shall come in full in the new covenant which was purchased by the blood of Mashiach that is a down payment for us to enter into such things a flowing free run liberty that this uh, uh, word may have free course as it tells you in the, the New Testament all right, that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, which uh, certain wicked men have crept in unawares to spy out our liberty, but do not understand the liberty. They think uh, it is for them to do whatever they want, especially these anti-Christians, but that is not the case. The liberty does make us free, but not free to, uh, to do as we please, but to do the will and what is pleasing unto Yahweh Hashem El Shai. We have been uh, 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 allowed this gospel. I love how uh, in the scripture it says we are allowed, you know, uh, given the gospel, uh, 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 brought into the ministry of reconciliation. And it says flowing, liberty, myrrh, going into like a sweet smelling savor, just as what was burning in the temple. All right, the different sweet uh, uh, savors, the odors all right, that came from whether it was the myrrh, the frankincense. OK, and other things that we burned uh, uh, in reverence and uh, sacrifice to our Lord. It says liberty, pure. So this we, we, we have entered into liberty and have been made pure through the blood of Mashiach. It says spontaneity of outflow and so clear. Hey, that is how we washed ourselves. Uh, uh, how should a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to the word of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Now I'm gonna play this clip and I'm gonna close out and we're gonna come back with another one. But Lord's one that you have enjoyed this lesson thus far. A uh be hungry for what is yet to come. So without further ado, I'm gonna play this clip. But let me read this here in the strong's definition. Meaning to move rapidly. Freedom. Ooh. We're gonna be as sparks among the stubble when the Lord grants us that actual power we have the power here and now but the lord is going to give us that physical power that can be seen and manifested and felt just as his return shall be felt and seen and manifested now i'm gonna play this 
Shavua. Your moral compass, a set of values that directs your strength toward just actions, preventing you from becoming the very thing you've trained to stand against. Number seven, understand that weakness isn't virtue. Many people confuse weakness with goodness, but being harmless isn't the same as being good. A weak man may avoid conflict, not out of virtue, but out of fear. A truly good man is one who has the capacity for violence, for destruction, for ruthlessness, but chooses not to use it unless it's in defense of others. Weakness offers no choice. Strength gives you options. A dangerous man who controls his power is far more virtuous than a man who is weak and incapable. The world respects strength and honors those who wield it responsibly. In the end, a dangerous man who chooses to be good isn't a man without the capacity for violence. He's a man who has mastered it and directs it only when necessary. He's not weak, but rather someone who could do harm, but consciously chooses not to. This choice, this restraint, is what makes him a truly good man. Weakness offers no virtue. Strength offers choice. Be strong. Be dangerous. Be good. Remember, it's your world. Build it. See that? I was willing. You enjoyed that clip. He said, be strong. Be dangerous. Be good. Because we came into this liberty not to do whatever the hell we want, but to do the will of Yahweh Shemashai. And that makes us dangerous to the wicked, to the evil, to those that are in the dark, because we are the children of the light. But then we are yet dangerous in the sense we're good. It say, he said, be, be uh, dangerous, be good. That's what he said. The last thing he says is be good. Because in us is the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai and, and, and his Acts are righteous all together. Everything that he does, whether it be evil to some or, or chaotic or, or, or destructive, it is still good to us. And whether it be, you know, uh, uh, good in the sense of, of, of salvation or safety or help or, or rescuing is still good. So everything that the Lord does is good and everything that he allows us and commands us to do through the liberty that we have received is good, but yet to the wicked and evil and ungodly, it is dangerous. So be dangerous, be good. It is your world, build it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Mashah. So with that, I'm gonna let you uh, believers go, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash, by whom we do function, double honors unto my teachers and elders, the apostles at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Much love. To you brothers, you sisters, and those that are addicted unto this ministry, I pray that you are edified until the next time. I say shalom. Catch you on the next one. Shalom.